There we are. That was easy. Just a little grub on a jig head. Ooh, he wants to, he wants to play today. <laughs> this is candy, man. They just cannot resist this. Cannot resist it. Light line, you gotta take it, take your time getting them in. Okay, come here you. Look at this, look at this. Here we go. Fell victim to a grub here in a jig head. That's what we're talking about today. Today I'm gonna show you how to rig it, what type of equipment to use. And then I'm gonna take you in the water. I'm gonna show you the different techniques you can use for fishing. A grub and a jig head. Hey folks, Glenn May here with BassResource.com. Today I want to talk to you about fishing grubs. Grubs on a jig head to be specific. If you're not sure how to rig this, I've got a video on how to rig grubs. It's linked underneath this, this video here. You can take a look at that later. But right now I'm going to talk to you about the different equipment and terminal tackle to use. And then I'm going to take you out and show you how to fish it. So first off, what I'm using here is a ball head jig. And it's got a wire guard on there. It's a real light wire hook. It's about a one-aught hook. Thin for finessing, but the guard on there keeps some of the weeds and gunk off of it and prevents it from getting hung up and stuff. Tied to it, I'm using six pound fluorocarbon line. That fluorocarbon gives me that sensitivity I need to feel those light bites. Plus it's clearer in water. It doesn't get to be seen as much. And it's, it's a little more invisible, if you will. I'm fishing real clear water, so that's important. And because we're using real light line, we need to match it up with the right rod. So medium light action rod, that's the kind of what you want. Because that, if you have anything heavier than that, you risk breaking the, uh, uh, the, the line or straightening out that hook during the fight and during the hook set. So a medium light action, spinning outfit is what we're doing. Let me tell you a little bit about the weight here. This weight is, this is just an eighth ounce ounce weight. That's a great starting point, good all around size to use. A lot of the bites come on the fall, so you want a nice slow fall. Uh, you can go up to about a quarter ounce weight if you want. If you're fishing really deep, that's not a problem, but I wouldn't really want to go any higher than that. So you don't need a whole bunch of jig heads. Just get yourself like an eighth ounce, quarter ounce, maybe a three ounce, but nah, that's even too much. That's all you need. Simple setup, now we're ready to go. Now you know the equipment, now you know the gear. Let's go out fishing. All right, so what I'm fishing here is a kind of a rocky point, with some underwater boulders with no weeds, which is a great place to fish this rig. Even though I do have a wire guard here for weeds, I don't have to worry about it because I don't have any weeds. Really all it takes is, 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 is a nice light cast. You don't want to throw it out really far. Just throw it out and then let it sink a little bit and then you're going to reel it back. That's the first technique I'm going to show you here. So you just cast that grub out there, let it fall, I flip the bail, and then all we're going to do is a steady retrieve. Point the rod tip down towards the, the water and slowly bring it back and try to follow the contour of the bottom. So you might want to give a little pause, let it sink a little bit, and then reel again. And that's all we're going to do is just going to follow this point on out and see if there's any fish hanging out on the bottom. Now, the bite sometimes is real subtle, so you have to pay real close attention to feeling that. So I like to put the rod a little bit of an angle here. It's a little bit easier to detect the bite. Now to set the hook, because this wire, light wire hook, it's, it's exposed, and you're only using six pound test, you don't have to set the hook really hard. Matter of fact, if you really pop it hard, you're just gonna break the line or straighten out that hook. So instead, it's just real, real bit harder. Just pull back on it and you'll set the hook. That doesn't take much effort to get that light wire hook to go past the barb in the fish's mouth and you have them. So let me show you one other way I like to fish this. And that is, you throw it out there and let it fall in this case, you can let it fall away to the bottom. So when you do, pay real close attention to that line. 
See if that fit, if, if there's any fish that hit it while it's falling, the line will pop, twitch, jump, jerk, do something like that. If that happens, you want to set the hook. Now it's out the bottom. All you're going to do is point the rod tip down towards the water and now lift it up to about the 11 o'clock position and then let it fall. And all I'm doing is I'm letting the, I'm, I'm following the, the drop with the rod tip and I'm reeling up the slack as I do it. I'm not moving the bait ahead with the reel. I'm doing that with the rod. So just lift up slowly and just let it fall and flutter right back down. A lot of times those bites occur right as the bait is falling. And that's really all there is to it, to fishing grubs. It's very simple, straightforward. The thing about it though, here's, here's a little tip. If you're catching fish on crankbaits, as a matter of fact, this is a really good place to, wherever, anywhere you throw crankbaits, that's where you want to throw this. But if you're fishing, catching fish on crankbaits and the bite dies off, pick up a grub, go back through those areas, you'll start catching fish again. So you can cover a lot of water doing it this way too. Great way to catch a lot of fish. Now, I'll fish a little bit differently in the in the summer than I do in the in, say in the spring. In the summer, I'm fishing a little bit deeper. I'm fishing main lake points. I might fish humps, that sort of thing. Whereas in the spring, I'll go shallow. I'll go backs of coves, flats, secondary points. Those are the things I'm going to be targeting. Great bait to use during those times of the year, especially when the fish are active and feeding on bait fish. For more tips and tricks like this, visit BassResource.com. Hey, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment below. And if you want to watch more videos like this, click one of the images on your screen right now. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.